Hello, Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, flips. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Excuse the full voice. Um, this is your general love reading for July. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in their reading or in your reading. See uh, what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and, of course, vice versa as well. Guys, you can feel free to uh, jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamp. So if you click in the, if you look in the comment section, you see where it says start reading, click on that. And that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This says, and so this section is really for those that just kind of, you know, prefer to see me shuffle. Okay, so I'm going to take these in, also clarify them uh, off, off camera as well, and Rain will be back. So Sagittarius, let's start your reading, and of course, uh, take whatever side resonates with you guys. We're picking up as this being your side which the mic's on, it's the person you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates most, okay? All right, um, all right, so this is kind of a situation that explains or demonstrates what happens in relationships to bring people, two people closer together. Um, there's certain points in relationships, whether you're there for, you know, whether you've been together for, you know, months, a couple of months, years, there's certain points in relationships where you go through experiences and once you've both kind of gone through that, you come out a lot closer. So let me just kind of explain what's going on here. All right, so just based on where you guys are coming from, there's been a breakup, there's been definitely an ending to this situation. Yes, for some of you, there could have been some communication here with that ace with the a of wands um you wanting to bring this back you wanting to get this person back um you know definitely hurt by the breakup there with the three of swords there but feeling like or thinking that this person is maybe a soulmate or you've been with this person for a long time where you could develop this strong deep emotional um, borderline spiritual connection with this person and now you're wanting to mature or step up to the plate it's like I'm going to step up to the plate now I'm ready to step up to the plate and this person was maybe break plumbing you with that chariot there just on and off hot and cold maybe just giving you yeah break plumbing you yes still being emotionally um, or still having a strong attraction towards you still acknowledging that there's chemistry there but there is this <coughs> I do apologize that was my throat there is this we've got the eight the eight of uh, cups which talks about when we talk about the eight of cups we're talking about walking away from something that there's still emotions for you know sometimes things left not being said left not being said um, towards that knight cup and the knight cup represents emotional happiness you know feeling better so that's what they were kind of doing regardless of whatever communication he was giving you regardless of how much they was you know whatever communication was spending time together that was still what they were going through internally towards just a peace you know a better a better feeling place for themselves you know because they're for them it's like no this is this is ended this is ended, and this is emphasized by that hangman. Um, they're still going through a feeling of loss. You know, it's not to say that they didn't feel anything, or they don't feel anything, which I already explained. They're still feeling the loss of this, and somewhat being trapped mentally. Um, the uh, I feel like this communication for you. How do I explain this? 
made you face your fears in some way. I feel like it was an extremely uncomfortable thing for you to do because maybe you thought you would look stupid or make you look a certain type of way. Um, and that, uh, yeah, there's something around that for you. You, you know, reaching out maybe to this person first was a bit tough in some way, but for you, it's like, I want that. I want the Ten of Pentacles back. Which brings us to where we are now. You know, yes, you're still her. You're still Ben's still her when it comes to, to this person. Um, but there's this level of, you've had the magician card there. So there's this level of belief or confidence that you can still get this person back. I feel like that's coming from the past. Maybe, maybe how this person has um, responded to you in the past. Maybe how this person has responded to you in the past. You know, giving in, maybe, you know, giving you second chances, or whatever the case may be. Uh, maybe it's coming from that place, but there is definitely this level of confidence with the magician card there. You know, there's this idea of, yeah, of course, I can, you know, victory, success. I can get this, I can get this person back. Yeah, I feel like this is more about, ow. Yeah, what you've experienced with this person. Um, however, there is still this bit of confusion kind of there with that seven of cups. There is still this, as much as you still feel confident and sure, there is a bit of confusion there, and it's based on how this person is showing up. Because they're showing up as a nine, and now it's like they're, they're in a better feeling space. You know, they've, they've kind of moved, shifted from this past to this, you know, things are going well for them at this time. Something's going well for them. Something they're working on. It's, it's going right, it's unraveling right, I'm not sure what that is. Could be work, to do with their finances, could be a project, a career, could be their self, it could be their confidence, whatever it is, but there's something that's going right for them. Something that they're working on. Um, yes, there's still a bit of burden around this, um, heaviness with the 10 there. There is this choice they're needing to make. I'm not sure whether the choice is stemming from communication that you could be both having now. For some of you, you're just definitely not having any communication now, currently. For some of you, there's bits of communication. Um, because there is, like I said, go back to you, there is this acknowledgement that, or confusion, um, because there's this acknowledgement that, yes, I feel sure about getting this person back based on what they've done in the past, but there is this pain. This person, they feel a change here. You know, this person's kind of changed, still wanting to give, um, and you're right, you're right as well. And they're wanting to maintain that as well, which is why there, if there is, for those of you that are still in communication with this person, being guarded, you know, they've got their boundaries up, whether they're being told or, yeah, being told or just, you know, ignoring you or whatever the case may be. Um, and they're very much standard in that. They're serious about that. They're, you know, serious about what's going on for them. Yeah, definitely something that they've, they've been working on that's working out well for them. Um, th and you acknowledge this shift, this change. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move into um, this extended version and see where this moves to. And I've linked in the description bar below and also in the comment section, guys, to click on that. And I shall see you guys in a bit. Ooh. 